Hey everyone, welcome back to Atomic News TV. And as you can see, I took off all my makeup. And I'm naked. <laughs> but I got home and I got my BoxyCharm box. So I was so excited because I've been seeing all these YouTubers do their reviews of their boxes. Well, I'm not exactly in love with my box because I did not get the same version, obviously, as these beauty YouTubers did. I got um, version three. Version three. Whoop. See my little three there at the bottom right here? Uh-huh. Okay, so I got my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which, okay, I'll try it. I use the IT Cosmetics um, CC Cream as my foundation. Um, I'm usually a waterproof mascara kind of girl because I usually have a very oily complexion. I do break out, as you can see. Ha! Huh, I'm 43 and I still break out. Isn't it supposed to end eventually? Like, really? Like, haven't I... Haven't I been through enough? <laughs> At 43. <laughs> I should be done with this bullshit. But anyway... I usually wear a um, waterproof mascara because it tends to run underneath my eyes if I use regular mascara. And I have not bought regular mascara probably in a decade. Like, it took me that long to figure it out in my life. I don't know. Um, but for the last 10 years, I have bought waterproof mascara. And it was definitely the culprit regular mascara because as soon as I got waterproof mascara it stopped running underneath my eyes and I had tried many many different mascaras just to you know try and figure out what the hell my problem was and then I realized it's just my oily skin and I need to have waterproof mascara but anyway so this is my first non-waterproof mascara in over 10 years so hey I'll give it a shot I'm game I'm down um, but I did notice that the barcode is blacked out. This is so that you can't return this to a retailer and exchange it for something else. So I found that interesting. Makes total sense, though. Um, having a background in retail store management, um, especially for a cosmetics company um, that I used to work for. I used to work for the body shop. And I used to manage their Scottsdale store and their Topanga, California store. Many, many years ago. <laughs> and then when I was 18 years old, I was a little holiday sales clerk for the body shop um, in the Thousand Oaks Mall. So I've worked with a lot, a lot of makeup before and cosmetics before. So anyway, I, I, I can appreciate the blacked out barcode because there are people that would totally do that. Totally. So... I'm excited to actually try that out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. And I don't know how that's going to turn out because I'm a veterinary assistant and I sweat all day and my makeup goes to shit every single day anyway. Um, <laughs> so this should be interesting. Um, I'll update you in a future video on how that goes. Maybe I'll take a picture if it's really hideous. So... Um, I was super, super excited, so excited for this right here. Okay, I know Kat Von D is controversial right now. I did make a video on Kat Von D um, and posted that, I think, two days ago? Two days ago? Yeah, yeah. And how I feel bad for Kat Von D right now because <laughs> people are totally taking this way overboard right now. So I got bow and arrow, which is what I wanted. Um, bow and arrow is my number two favorite lip color on this planet. Number two, because Jeffree Star wins my heart. Um, Jeffree Star Leo is my number one. Um, but I wanted this, even though I already have one, because I wanted one for at home and one for my purse. <laughs> yeah, I want to hoard bow and arrows um, because I hate not having one in both places. And I didn't want to go buy a second one. Who wants to go pay for another something that you already have, right? Um, and I hate 
okay, taking it with me in my purse and then putting it back with all my makeup and taking it with me in my purse and putting it back with my makeup so I can do my makeup in the morning again. You know, it's like this whole routine and I hated it. So now I have one for my purse. Yay! <laughs> so I am excited about that. Okay. So the next thing, everybody got this, the Pure Cosmetics um, Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. You all have seen this on all the other YouTube channels, I'm sure. But just in case there's somebody out there seeing little old me on the video and has not yet seen the innards of this particular... Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to flash you guys with the mirror there. Um, for someone who has not seen the inside of this, it does have a couple blushes, a couple highlighters, and six different eyeshadows with a little mirror. So um, if you haven't seen this yet, you have been hiding under a rock because every other YouTuber got this and has posted. <laughs> now... What I'm so disappointed about is the next two products. The next item I got was the, okay, hopefully I say this right, the Briogeo or Briogeo? Briogeo is what I'm guessing. I don't know. It is a, uh, it is the Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisturize Leave-In Mask. Okay, this is why I canceled my Ipsy box, okay? Because it seemed like almost every single box, I got a leave-in conditioner and a travel size mascara. And I was tired of getting it. Like, how, uh, how many mas little mascaras can I have and how many leave-in conditioners can I have? I mean, I do process my hair a lot. I color my hair every three weeks because girl gets some serious gray roots. I'm 43 and I would be totally gray if I didn't color my hair. And that is sad. <laughs> so I have to color my hair every three weeks because my roots show and my hair grows fast. And then I do have to straighten my hair because it used to be really cur naturally curly, but now it's like a combination of curly and frizz, like old people hair. I don't, I don't fucking know. It's a mess. So um, I do straighten my hair when I wear it down, which I wear it up almost all the time. Um, but this is what I consider down right now because I almost never, I would always wear my hair up in a ponytail, like a, all of my hair in a ponytail until I had surgery back here and had to shave the back of my head. Um, but like it's in a super awkward stage. And if I don't straighten it, it's a frizzy mess. So anyway, I probably could use this, but I have such a backlog of this. Like I have so much of so many different leave-in conditioners from my Ipsy and from my Birchbox, which I canceled that too because the same thing was happening with them. I canceled them, boom, done. Um, I really did not like Birchbox at all, at all. Uh, Ipsy, eh. But I so far I've loved my Boxy Charm until this one, and I'm like, I don't want this. I don't need this. It's like I, version three. Is that all the leftovers? Do we get the leftovers? Is that what version three is? Um, so yeah. Then the last thing that I got, which I'm also not excited about is this right here. Ahava, if I'm pronouncing that right. Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Dude. I have so much hand cream. Okay, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a dumpster diver, okay? I scored a jackpot in spring at Ulta one time. Jackpot, okay? And <laughs> if I'd had more storage room and had the ability to get actually in a dumpster, I would have had mega jackpot. But I have in the next bedroom 200 holiday hand creams that Ulta, they're brand new, still sealed. They still have that little silver, you know, um, tip over the hole. Yeah, they're still sealed. There's nothing wrong with them. They were still in the plastic packaging from um, shipment. Mm -hmm. Four different scents from a holiday 2017. Two, over 200. I think it's like 212. Um, I have hand cream up the ass. Okay? Like, I have hand cream for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't need any more hand cream. I need hand cream like I need another hole in my head. So, yeah. Like, I could be giving away hand cream right now. 
In fact, I am. I'm going to be donating some of it to uh, local shelters, like a women's shelter or something like that. Um, so I am going to give back. And I do do that sometimes with some of my dumpster diving for things that I know are worth money or worth something, but I can't necessarily use it. So I will pull it out and share it with somebody else, whether it be my coworkers, family, a friend or a shelter of some sort, a charity of some sort. Um, so I do put my diving to good use. Um, but I'm sort of in love with this box and sort of hate this box and you can see why. Um, so I wanted to share that with you and I don't know what, you know, version two was. I don't know if I saw anybody with a version two. Like my guess is all the beauty influencers get version one, all the good shit, right? And then some people get version two and then all the leftovers are version three. So I think I'm, um, the leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> so if you got this version, let me know. If you were disappointed with half of it, <laughs> let me know. Um, and anybody who got version two, who got version two? What was in that? Why can't, I don't think I've seen a single video with version two. So keep me posted on that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I will definitely review my next uh, boxy charm and keep you posted on the whole mascara issue. Um, and then I'm pretty excited. I signed up for the, you know, the big box in December. So I'm really excited to see what was in there. I did miss the last one. So I was kind of sad about that. I was kind of like, what is this? I'm confused. I don't know. Um, and then I figured out what it was by watching YouTube and I was like, oh shit, I should have done that. I missed out. So I'm not going to miss out in December and you shouldn't too. So upgrade your boxy charm now because that looked good last time. So, uh, definitely looked like it was worth the money. Definitely. Um, I think this month is my last Ipsy cause I canceled it. So if I'm right and I am getting an Ipsy, I'll review that too. Um, I should check on that, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. And until next time, peace out.